Well, for one thing, I definitely feel smarter. We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Hello everybody, welcome to Mothman Jones Reviews. Today's featured review and movie is for Lincoln. Lincoln is a highly anticipated movie that's directed by Steven Spielberg and it stars Dana Day-Lewis, Sally Field, Tommy Lee Jones, and at least a dozen plus actors whose faces you will definitely recognize from movies you've seen before. As of this moment, this film has been released in 11 theaters across the nation, and one being in New York City, where I, well, near where I reside, and it will be open nationwide and for everybody else to see this upcoming Friday. The film is almost two and a half hours long, but the plot is fairly simple. It's basically about the last few months of Abraham Lincoln's life, where he spent all his time and dedication to getting the 13th Amendment passed, which would abolish slavery. Now, I've been pretty excited about this movie since I first heard about it, because Steven Spielberg is one of my favorite directors of all time. He's one of the main reasons why I aspire to be a director in Hollywood. And also, he's just the fact that he would direct a movie based on one of the most influential presidents ever, you can't help but get excited. Let me tell you, after coming out of it, I didn't expect to, but I really immensely enjoyed this film. Taking flight into this review, let's talk about the acting. The acting across the board is great. There are so many actors in this movie that even if they have two or three minute roles, like one scene roles, they all do really good. Standouts to me are Daniel Day-Lewis, Sally Field, and Tommy Lee Jones, who all three hopefully can get Oscar nominations. Because Tommy Lee Jones, first of all, I've never seen him put on a performance like this, but yet I haven't seen movies like Country for Old Men. But really, I haven't seen him in a role that was this good. Also, if I had known any better, I would think that Abraham Lincoln in this movie was in fact Abraham Lincoln. If someone had said to me, oh, you didn't know, Marty McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown, you know, they went to 1865 and they got Abraham Lincoln to come to the 21st century, and they got him to cooperate with Steven Spielberg to make this movie, that wouldn't be outlandish. If anything, this movie is a non-fictional film. And even though we all know how everything turns out, I was on the edge of my seat for the second half of this movie. And that's definitely a testament to Steven Spielberg's directing. Going to the actual technicalities of the camera work, nothing really stylish came out of it, but there was a great utilization of framing and lingering camera movement. You definitely get your fair share of trademark Steven Spielberg shots, but for the most part, this movie felt like a, what I can call best, a dramatized play, because Steven Spielberg, in, for most of the scenes in this movie, he would just take the camera and slowly move it out and pan around for three or four minutes without cutting it all as these actors just acted out their roles and did their thing. And it really helps immerse you into the story when you have a minimal amount of cuts. Also, no surprise here, John Williams' score is brilliant and amazing, but it doesn't come into full form until the end of the movie and the end credits. Like I said before, this movie is almost two and a half hours long, and depending on your expectations, you may end up boring yourself to death, or just not having quite the good experience. Now granted, I would think that's your fault, because a movie about Abraham Lincoln would not be action-oriented. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very dialogue-heavy. So if you're walking into this movie expecting something that's gonna have spectacle and action, you have no other thing coming. If anything, this movie has more relevance to becoming something of historical context, and it's a great history lesson, and it's beneficial if you're looking to refresh your memory on some historical facts based on Abraham Lincoln's late presidency. Just so you know from my experience, I walked into this movie with some expectations, because I, I was excited for this movie, and the opening scene I thought was brilliant, and then the movie slows down for a little bit, I mean, the whole movie is very slow-paced, very slow-paced, and full of dialogue, but it took me until at least 20 minutes to start getting into the movie, and once I got into the movie, I didn't care how long scenes dragged on, I was fully immersed. 
Plain and simple, if you're looking forward to Lincoln and wanting to see Lincoln, just be prepared for it. That's all. Overall, I thought Lincoln was a fantastic movie with performances that you could definitely write the home about, especially coming from Daniel Day-Lewis, Sally Field, and Tommy Lee Jones, who will be remembered for these roles for sure. In terms of rating this movie, I'm going to give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. If you see Lincoln this upcoming weekend, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this review. Also, check out my Twitter and Facebook accounts on my channel itself. I'm John from Mothman Jones Reviews. Four score and seven years ago. See you next time. Shall we stop this bleeding?